Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to do some file I.O. using any files in GameMaker Studio 2. Any files are really, uh, they're a really cool tool to know how to use. You can do things like unlock systems, achievement systems, um, cosmetic unlocks, level systems where you unlock levels using any files. Uh, so to start, we're just going to be doing a simple achievement system where you unlock certain achievements based on the amount of coins you collect in this game. It's not even really a game, it's just to demonstrate the any file system. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I'd like to mention that this, um, this uh, project I'm working on will be available through the YoYo Games um, page, wherever, I, I forget what it's called, where you can download it for free. So there will be a link in the description. All right, so the first thing you want to do if you do not download it is create three images, a coin, a save button, and a delete button. Be sure to name them accordingly, and then turn those sprites into objects, or I guess make objects and assign them sprites, um, and then name them like what I have named here, uh, any save file system for the save button, uh, delete for the delete sprite and so on object coin for the coin so to start we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to start with the save system here so first thing we want to do is in the create event we want to create an any file so any open and then we're going to name a file this will be the, the name of the file so name it something unique save file for gms2 something like that and then just be sure you know what it's called. You can always come back to encode and find it. I generally like to keep them pretty short so I don't forget when I'm typing them out. But this should be fine for now. And also, you might be wondering why we're opening it. Uh, and that's because GameMaker, if it doesn't find the file, it will create it for you. So that being said, we've opened the file now. And then we're going to read a value into a variable from this uh, any file. So that value is going to be where my coins uh, come from, where the value for my coins is. So I'm going to say that the variable coins equals, and then we're going to read this. So any read real. So we're reading it from the any file, and we're going to we need to look through this any file. So we're we're given a section, a key, and a default value when we read. So the section. These could be named whatever you want. Just be consistent and be sure you you, you know you remember what you're doing. Uh, for the, for me though, I'm going to name it trophies, trophies, and then make sure it's a string. Also, this needs to be a string. And then for the key, I'm going to do coins because that's what we're unlocking. And then for the default value, I believe it can be a string, but it does not need to be a string. I'm not going to make it a string because we're dealing with integer values when we deal with coins. So I'm just going to put zero for the default. So when the game starts and this is created, this uh, object here, it's going to read coins from the any file that is open and the default value will be zero. And this default value will be changed later when we do some writing to this any file. But before that, we need to make sure that we close our any file just like so. And then that is it for the create event. Uh, this tutorial shouldn't be too long. There's not much code involved. So next thing we need to do is do a draw event and ignore this. This is just because coins is only uh, referenced once. It'll be uh, used again, so that'll go away. So we're going to do a draw event. And inside the draw event, we want to distinguish some variables here as well. And the reason we're doing it here and not in the create event is because these variables need to reset. Uh, they need to reset. So, so that it essentially just keeps redrawing with the positional logic because I'm going to be using for loops um, to display my system of achievements. You'll, hopefully you'll understand what I'm talking about. So first thing we want to do is we want an amount. We're going to set that equal to 10 and then we want spacing. We're going to set that equal to 40. And now here's where the for loop comes in and then this for loop is going to draw the text to the screen so you'll see what I'm saying. So for var equals i and then no that's not how you do it sorry i'm not super familiar with game maker for loops more familiar with python for loops i equals zero but that's okay i'll get through it and then 
I, well, I is less than five because I only want this to repeat five times. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up the variable here and it's set equal to zero. And then while it's less than five and it's zero, so while it's less than five, uh, we're going to increment it up by I plus plus. So that'll just increment it up once and then close parentheses. So that's the beginning of our for loop. And don't forget your curly brackets. And then inside of here, we're going to draw text to the screen. So draw text and then our X, we're going to do minus 50. And I've already worked these numbers out. Uh, so they, they look nicely on the screen. You can experiment with these values if you want, but uh, this will work perfectly for you. Uh, and then for our Y value, we're going to use our spacing variable. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to use the for loop to space these um, these achievements so that you don't have to, which just makes it generally easier. Um, at least I think so. And then I'm just going to write collect space plus the string, plus the string of the amount. So however many, we're using the for loop to loop through the amount too. So eventually it'll end up adding five to the amount every time. Um, kind of hard to explain. It, gets easier with time using for loops, um, but hope, I don't think it's too complicated. And then I'm going to do coins and then leave it like that. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing the text at the X minus 50. So this puts it right up against the edge of the screen. And then Y is plus spacing and by when it starts spacing is at 40. So it's right underneath um, where my save button will be. And then, uh, spacing is going to be incremented up. So spacing is positive equal to 30. So every frame it'll go up by 30. And then the amount M-O-U-N-T is positive equal to five. So if you, if you walk through this, uh, actually, let me hold that dot. So first we want to, we need a condition here. If amount Actually, no, we don't. I'll, I'll get to that next. So first, let me explain what, what's going on here. So we're drawing the text, like I said, right up against the screen, the screen, right, right below the save. And then this is the string I wanted to display. So collect plus amount, which is the string version of this integer here. So to start, amount will be 10. So collect 10 coins will be displayed on the screen at these positions. And then the second time around, so this will go up by one. And that'll still return uh, false. So, or no, this will return true. Either way, it'll it'll reloop through, and then spacing will be. Uh, it'll add another thirty to the spacing, so we'll go down more. So this will move down on the screen, and then our amount will go up by five. So the next time it'll be fifteen here. I hope that's not too hard to understand. Um, if so, just try to pause the video and try to understand it. So now what, what I was going to do before I went off on that was I need a condition in between the draw and this spacing and amount logic. And it needs to be if amount is less than or equal to the coins, then, oops, then we're going to do something. This is where we'll draw whether the challenge has been completed or not, or I guess draw the text. So draw text x plus 1, 110. And then again, these values I've figured out. I've been practicing around with it. These look the nicest to me. You can change them if you'd like. And then y is plus spacing again. And then my string this time will be complete. complete. So now if the amount is less than or equal to the coins, then we are going to hmm. then we're going to um, draw whether it's complete or not. I'm a little confused. I know it works because I've tested it, but I think there is probably a better way to write this. Coins is greater than or equal to amount. Let's go with that. Yeah. So now, if the coins are greater than or equal to the amount, then we're going to draw text that it is complete. So say we have 15 coins, then collect 15 coins. And if we, if our coins is the amount, 
it'll be true, and then we will draw complete. All right, so now we're almost done with the, the bulk of the coding, but we also need to draw ourself. So draw self, and that'll make sure that our save uh, button here is displayed. Otherwise, it, it'll be invisible because we're, uh, we're drawing. I don't know why it does it, but GameMaker does it like that. So we need to make sure that we draw self. And then we also need to draw text for our coins to display so we know how many coins we have. So draw text, x minus 50 comma y plus spacing and then what else did I do here coins coins and then the string plus the string we're concatenating the string with the string of the integer of coins string of the uh, value coins and I believe that should do it for the draw event now we need to go and create one more event in this save file um, object, and it needs to be key mouse left press. That's what I did. Mouse left pressed here, and then let me. Okay, so when we press on it, what do we want it to do? We want it to save. So we need to reopen up our any file, any open, and then our file name. And I forgot what it was, so let me go check. Uh, that's right, right here. I'm just going to copy and paste it. All right, so now we've opened up that file, and now we want to write something into it. Any write real. But what do we want to write, and where do we want to write it? Well, if you go back to our create event, we are reading from the uh, section trophies and the key coin. So we want to keep this consistent, and we want to write over our old one. So when we left press, we're going to write over trophy coins and then that default default value of zero is now uh, it shows up down here as value we want to overwrite it with a different value and what value do we want to overwrite it with well coins because that's what we're collecting so now when we click on this it will overwrite with the amount of coins that we have uh, collected and it'll save and then the draw event will run through its logic and then our achievement system will be consistent and we can we can be happy basically and then we again want to close that file all right so that's it with this um, save object here so we need to program the coins so inside of these coins we need a left down in the mouse event left down and this is just so that we can we can uh, collect them and then we need to object any save system dot coins is going to be positive equal to one so what this is doing is it's basically reaching inside of our save system object here and it's changing its coins or it's incrementing them up by one is what this is doing and then we want to destroy this coin so it's not just constantly on the screen Stance destroy and that is it for the coin now we also want to have this delete uh, object here and this is just so that you you can see how delete kind of works in any files you could either completely delete the file itself which I don't generally like doing or you could just delete a section and that's what we're going to be doing so when we click on this so mouse left pressed again we want to open that any file any open and whatever it was nope all right I have to go back because I don't remember what it was again. Go back in here. That's why it's uh, important to keep these short and something and make it something that you can remember. So I've opened this file again so I can do things with it. Any section delete. And then we're going to delete our trophy section because that's the section where coins, the key coins are in and our values are in. So trophies. Trophies. And then any close because we, we don't want our file to stay open. And then and then what do we want to do? Well, this one it automatically display that we deleted anything. So we want to restart the room. So room restart. Alright, so that's it in all our objects. So now 
create a room and then drag your save uh, system uh, also these these uh, objects or sprites I guess are uh, their origin is at the center so just be sure to center set them to the center at least I think they are yeah they're at the center so it shouldn't matter too much but I just set them at the center so now put your save button here and then your delete button pretty much wherever you want I put it up here because our text is gonna write down here and then put some coins on the screen so that we can collect them all right that should be good and now let's run our game and all right, so I have to re-record this uh, in-game demonstration because I didn't have my the recording software I'm using set up to record anything other than the window that it was recording, so none of what I recorded went through. So I'm going to re-record it now and just show you what we've done. So you can see we have our text displayed here, and this was what the for loop did, was it, it did this stuff for us. We have our save that we put up here and our delete object that we put right here and our coins. So if I collect the coins, you can see nothing's happening to the achievements, but right when I get past, or I guess 210, it's been completed. If I don't save, that complete won't stay there, and I'll demonstrate that real fast. So I closed it, and I'm rerunning the game, and you can see I have zero coins, and it's not completed. So let me redo it, and now let me save. I have 11 coins. I just hit save, and now I'm going to close it and it's been saved so it's in the any file and then when I re uh, start the game you can see that the any file did its or the game did its job and it read in the values from the any file and we have our achievement has been saved here so now let me just complete them all it's not super hard and then oh gotta save it so I clicked on save now I close it I run it again and you can see that all the achievements have been completed now I want to restart because that game was so much fun, so I'm going to hit delete, and now I can do it again. And that is a very simple way to use any files to do a unlock system, or I guess achievement system. Like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, you can use them to do level systems. I've used them to do cosmetic unlocks, so if you have a character who unlocks different outfits, you can use any files to do that. There's probably different maybe better ways to do it i don't know this is how i do it i enjoy it and i hope you guys did too anyways thanks for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video and uh i'll see you in the next one